Hey everybody, what's going on? So I'm sure you've all heard by now, especially if you are very active on X or Twitter, whichever you want to call it, that there's been a lot of um, controversy with what looks to be like these, these basically these uh, bots that are going on X and Twitter and they're, you know, hyping up Pierre Polyev and saying, oh, he was so great in Kirkland Lake and all these things. And then they, you, know, you look at them and then you find out that their profile is from Russia or some other weird place. And they, they these aren't even real people and they've even been de deactivated from, um, from X. So now a lot of people, after years and years of dealing with liberal bots, now all of a sudden the liberal and the NDP have a problem with it and they are wondering what's going on. Is Pierre Polyev cheating? Is this foreign elections? Sorry. <laughs> Is Pierre Polyev cheating or is this election interference? That's what they're that's what they're wondering right now. Interestingly enough, though, they didn't wonder about this when they were doing it, but and to be fair, maybe they weren't doing it on purpose. It could have been some foreign interference going on or something like that, but we don't really know. However, when it comes to the conservatives and Pierre Polyev, now all of a sudden they they have a huge worry about election interference. Now, if Pierre Polyev does get actually caught doing this and that you know, it was up to, it, he was all set up by him and the Conservative Party, then yeah, that is a problem because you're just creating false hype, making making people think, ah, well, I'm going to stay home because the liberals won't win, right? For, like Liberal voters could potentially stay home because of that. Now, that being said, if you look at all the fake hype from the media that in the States and up here in Canada that the liberals get, I mean, that's kind of interfering with an election too right if you're creating all this fake hype that's not really how elections are supposed to work you're supposed to give fair biased news but this is a little bit different because it's on x this isn't necessarily a news platform um it's just more of like a a free speech say what you want journalists whatever you can go on twitter and say whatever you want but when you have fake accounts creating the, this this hype it could influence voters right and that's not good I'm just wondering why the liberals and the NDP are so worried about it now. And they're always really quick to judge, too. And Eric, Jagmeet Singh was talking about this, too. And he was saying, well, if Pierre Polyev's doing this, he needs to fess up. I don't think Pierre Polyev is dumb enough to actually do that. Who's doing it? I don't know. Does it happen on both sides, though? Absolutely. Does it need to stop? Yeah, I mean, those bots are annoying, right? It's just weird that each side says, well, it's the other side doing it, but we know they're both doing it. And if they are doing it, and if they know about it, and they're not doing anything about it, then yeah, they, they, there should be some sort of punishment for that. People don't need to be falsely influ influenced in order to figure out who that they want to vote for. They'll figure it out themselves. Just give them honest, unbiased information. But that doesn't seem to be what's happening. And I do have a quick video here from Pierre Polyev. Uh, and again, guys, I'm still having the audio issues. So if this video that it's only 24 seconds, uh, but if it's any if it's choppy or if you can't hear it or if there's a lot of lag, just let me know and then you know I'll see if I can uh, fix that for you. And also, if you guys do have any idea how to react to videos so that you can hear it the same way I hear it, because it does uh, continue to get picked up by my mic. If any of you know how to fix that, that would be uh, greatly appreciated if you could let me know in the comment section. Well, let's take a look at this here, and then we'll talk about it like after. We'll talk about it after, like usual. I, I can see why liberals would like to create uh, uh, false allegations to distract from the hunger, the homelessness, and the economic misery they've caused after nine years of raising taxes, doubling housing costs, and mismanaging our economy. And that appears to be what this story is about. about Right. So now Pierre Polyev is, of course, going to defend himself and come out and say that this is a false accusation. And I hope it is. I hope he's not doing it. I hope no one in the party is purposely doing this because it's it's not good. It, it's definitely a bad look if you're trying to, you know, create some hype around your party, especially considering if you check the polls, which we can do that right now, actually. It was just updated on Sunday. So just a couple days ago. And yeah. 42% to the Liberals, 24%. They're up by 18 points. So like, why would you even create any false hype? You don't need it, right? I mean, the, the projected seats, he's projected to get 212. That's more than enough for a majority. That number is changing up to 172. He's he's beaten that too. He's He's got, what, 40 more seats than he needs. 
so even if even if people are thinking, oh, he's doing this on purpose, and the conservatives are this and that, well, why would he? That doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Now, that being said, if there is some sort of interference from a foreign nation going on and they're the ones doing it, I would wonder why they would do it, especially if they're on the conservative side for the reasons I just mentioned. That being said, it could be coming from the liberal side too. We don't know, and it should be investigated. It's like the only thing that Jogmeet Singh says that I actually agreed with because he, he finally started making sense where he said, hey, this does need to be investigated. Although not from their side, only from Pierre Polyev's side. That's the part where he, of course, just goes off the rails. It all needs to be investigated because we do need to find out what's happening here so that people can you know, get honest information and they can see, okay, looks like Pierre Polyev's getting a lot of real hype. I was thinking about staying home, but we need Trudeau out of there, so I'm going to go vote for Pierre Polyev or whatever the reason is. But you don't want to create any false hype. You want the hype to be naturally generated and real and you want your voters to be very uh, enthused when they head to the voting poll, which is something that I, I think the liberals are having a lot of problems with, as you saw in the St. Paul by-election, where a lot of liberals seem to either, they either flipped over the, to the conservative side or they just didn't bother voting because there are people who have said that they will not be voting for any MP as long as Justin Trudeau is at the top. So even if it's some, some by-election, some other liberal MP, they're not they're just staying home because they've had enough of Trudeau, and they think that he's ruining the country and the party. And uh, that's something where me and liberals could actually agree with for a change. So, yeah, you know, it's 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 interesting, this whole, you know, bot farm and where it's coming from and who's created it and who started it, who's continuing to do it. Why is this happening? We need to find out what's happening and then get rid of it. I know there's a lot of pressure on the liberals and the NDPs right now to kind of get back on track, but creating some, you know, false accusation, if that is what, what's going on, I mean, that's just going to, like, if, if there's an investigation and they find out that, no, Pierre Poilieta had nothing to do with it, the conservatives had nothing to do with it, that's going to make the liberals and the NDP look even worse because now you've falsely accused Pierre Poilieta of something. It's okay to ask questions. But it seems like they think, or at least they want the public to believe, that Pierre Polyev is doing this on purpose to try to... And, and there's probably going to be some other allegations, probably something more of a, like along the American style of politics that the liberals apparently hate so much, but then continue to use, especially by calling conservatives weird. Which in itself is weird, because the liberals are the party of weirdos. So I don't really know why Kamala Harris thought that was a good idea, but anyway... So much for uh, the liberals in there. So, oh, Pierre Polyev is just like Trump. But he's American style politics. That's what the liberals do. They criticize Pierre Polyev of something, and then they go ahead and do exactly what they were so critical of. That's what the liberal party has become. It's, hey, look at this guy. He's using American style politics, and then the liberals go right ahead and use American style politics immediately after. It's really stupid, but again, what can you expect from the Liberal Party and the NDP Party of Canada? You, you don't, you're not going to get any common sense. And that's why the common sense slogan from Pierre Polyev is also so effective, because everyone knows we need some common sense back. We just need to make sure that when people are voting and they, they're getting hyped up, they're getting hyped up for the right reasons, and that the hype is actual, genuine, uh, genuinely built, not manufactured. Because if that, if it is true that Pierre Polyev did this. That's going to be that's going to make him look really, really bad. But if the liberals are just falsely accusing somebody, they're going to look bad, too. Either way, I'm sure Elections Canada will be looking into this. I hope they check on this from both sides. And also, I want you guys to let me know in the comment section. What do you think about this whole bot farm? Do you think that both parties should be held accountable? Do you think there should be a full investigation? And also, what do you think should happen if one of these parties, if not both, are caught purposely doing this kind of stuff? Again, I always really enjoy reading your guys' comments. I really appreciate you guys checking out this video. Uh, that's going to be it for today. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really, really, really helps grow the channel. And I'll be back shortly with another video.